Hi there, it's Tanya from Tatter Treasures. Hello and welcome back. Uh, I think I've got ink all over my hands. So I was just starting off a new project and um, I thought, oh, I'll do a bit of the work off camera because um, it's a bit time consuming and there's no need to, to see it. Um, so <clears throat> I'm going to make two um, more envelope journals but I'm going to follow a tutorial that Jean from Inky Owl uh, has done and it's a no sew project um, and I'm using up the rest of um, Nanine's lovely uh, new autumn kits. I used a lot of the file folder kit in the last um, project I did because I did an outer file folder and this is the junk journal um, kit. So it go, you know, it's exactly the same. Well, it's not exactly. It's it's the same images, colours, and all the rest of it. But you know what I mean. It's different. It's different, but the same. It coordinates. That's the word. So I've printed these off all on, I think, two hundred GSM uh, cream card. So that's all I've got uh, sheet wise. I think I've got a couple um, of half sheets and stuff. What I'd got left over. Um, so I sat and I inked all around the edges, then I got my brush and went all around and then I thought, oh, I'll stencil all the way around because I was thinking, you know, you're going to see part of it. Then I used my Memento uh, Peanut Brittle and I just went round with some text stamp and then I used my leaf stamp and went round with the uh, Galaxy Gold. Both these are on my Amazon favourites and it is an affiliate link and I do earn a small commission if you go uh, through my link. So I got to there and I thought, all right, I'll pick which ones I want for the front. Obviously, this is way too uh, big. So I think I'm going to chop it down, seal it back up um, and then obviously I'm going to have to do this bit again uh, further down. Did that make any sense? Um, I wasn't. I wasn't going to turn the camera on, but um, not till I was ready. And then I thought, oh, actually, I will. So I have. Uh, so I've got my big trimmer out, which does not fit on my desk. Um, well, it does like diagonally. Uh, it's not very visual. So I think. I'm going to, where's the, the other out one? This one. So I think I'm going to have this one uh, for a cover. So I'm going to cut that down to there. So that's going to be one of my covers and this one's going to be uh, the other cover. I suppose I need to choose backs as well, don't I? Why am I at it? Um, I think it might be the middle. And I'm fine with this, um, you know, that it looks like the side of a book at the side. I think that's quite, quite nice. So uh, back, I think... See, if I went for that, that would probably look a bit funny because um, I really need to pick one on, on this side. That is on this side. Because it go that way. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm talking to myself. Um, so I don't know if I have the mushroom with the mushroom and the owl with the owl, actually. Or do I want... Well, let's just... Let's just cut them and then I can decide. I think that's about half and this one is about half. Yeah, so that's going to be my front and back. Then I'm going to want two um, inside, aren't I? So again, I'm going to want one on one side, one on the other. Okay, I think I'm going to pick that that one and I'm going to have both sides 
maybe not in the same one, but so that one and that one, and then I'm gonna have that one. I want one what's more. I want one like that, but it's on the wrong side. So I'm gonna have that one. I quite like this actually. So yeah, I'll do that. Okay, so that's them. I'm gonna have to probably make some jumbo uh, journal cards out of those. So I'm going to want. See, it's fine. That's it in half. And if that was on the front, it'd be fine that way because obviously, oh no, I'm not going to have any lace down the side. Oh yes, I could. Because it's going to tie at the side, but I can put some lace on anyway. So, let's measure. <laughs> let's measure. So this is, which I should know, uh, it's dead on A yet. So if I did it at, let's have a look, oh it's a bit big to fit in, in the actual trimmer, um, so that's eight, so if I did it at eight and a quarter, let's have a look what that looks like. So yeah, that's better height wise. And I think I'm going to take some off the side. I mean, it's going to be a whole new thing, isn't it? I'm glad I spent <laughs> time inking and what have you. Um, but then I will pause the camera and, and redo that. So I think, that's, what is it, ish? they're all going to probably be a little bit different so it's like six and uh, five and three quarters so and this is like six and three so oh my goodness so i really want them at say six but yeah i'm gonna have to um, oh no, don't do it that way. I'll have to um, stick them all back together. But that's not that's not an issue. I'd rather have them right size than, than too big. Right, yeah, that's fine. So let's do the same again. So this needs to be six, doesn't it? So six. And then what did I say? Eight and a quarter. Let's just chat. Yeah, let's just move this <coughs> trim out of the way. It takes far too much room up. Right. <laughs> so. I may as well use the clow and glue the old thing up, haven't I? So let's go round the edges. So I don't want, do I want them open? No, I don't. Sometimes I would leave a side or something open. So I'm just gonna glue. I'm not going to totally glue because obviously it wouldn't have been glued together. It would have only been the, the flat glued down. So that should be plenty. I mean, I might. I might sew around them. Let's put that the right way. Get my roller out. Okay, so I don't need to do much more stenciling and stuff. Probably just need to, yeah, just need to go, go around that edge. That should be fine. 
Okay, let's do this one. I don't want to go too close to the edge because it's a very wet glue and all it does is squash out. Okay. So I'm using the walnut stain and I'm just going to go back round that edge. Get back, back up. I would have gone cut down one side, wouldn't I? So I think that's the, that's the side. Yeah, because that one's done. I think that one is done. I don't think I'll cut that one down. Oh, I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? Let's just ink it anyway. <laughs> Why not? Right, I'll ink, link this. So, yeah, I'm thinking I might actually, because I'm going to have to pause, because I've got to nip somewhere. So, well, I'm not going to pause. I'm going to stop it and then join join it on. So, I think in between time, um, I'll finish the stenciling off now, um, and then I'll stop and... When I come back later, I'll get these sewn off camera and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, gonna. That's not great, is that? What is that? Oh, it's just there. Um, see, I don't know if to sew around this or sew around the actual panels that I'm putting on. I don't think I want two lots of, of sewing. Might have been too much, wouldn't it? So I might stick the panels down and then sew, sew around it. So if I put the front panels on, sew all around it, sew the back panels and then stick the back panels on. I think that's what I'll do. Yeah. Okay. And obviously off camera, I'll ink all around these before, before I do that. So let's have a look. I don't think it needs a lot. Let's go in with the um, text stamp. So I use the peanut, is it peanut brittle? Yeah. Let's just get some right round the edges. Well, I'm using the exact same piece of text the whole time. I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure you don't notice, but yeah, it gets a bit boring. <laughs> you know, when you're stamping it, I'm thinking, oh, it's a bit boring. I want, I want something different, which is absolutely ridiculous, because it all looks looks the same anyway once you've done it. So I probably might have to watch Jean's video again. I don't know, because uh, I watched it a few few weeks ago um i will i don't think she's got a playlist for it um so i will link um the first video that she did and then normally if you're watching one one video it it'll probably recommend uh the second one so i'm doing the middle i'm not sure see if i'll put lace um on there or not so i thought i'll do it now I'll do a bit in this middle because again if, if I do use the crocheted lace and it's got quite um holes on it you can see you know you can see through uh, a bit so it'd be nice just to uh, see see a bit of something so this obviously needs some more Tags. I think I'll have to get my gold back out because I, oh, I absolutely love that. Really looking forward to doing uh, some winter projects. I'm doing some like blue, white and silver uh, woodlands. <laughs> no surprise there, but um, 
and I've bought the platinum one uh, to the gold. So, um, yeah, I'm hoping that's as, as shiny as, as what this one uh, is. I'll say it's been really fun using it. And it's very gold gold, but it's not it's not too in your face. It's only um it, you know when the light catches it, it looks really nice. Right, I think that's enough around there. Okay. Well, the middle of that looks fine. Have I just done this and not noticed? I think I have. Right, have I done the other side of that one? Yeah. Okay, let's get the gold out. But I thought I'd keep these out uh, just to, well, so I remembered what what I used. So I'll just go around a little bit more. This is my leaf. Um, I've only got one. <laughs> Somebody kindly sent me one. Uh, and I've used it absolutely loads. Um, I think I might have to buy the, the Tim Holtz leaf set, but I'll probably need leave it now till, till next year. I don't know if you're watching Carol but um, one of those letters you sent me and you'd done uh, some some leaves um, on it um, would have been last last autumn when I was doing the uh, Woodland Wonder um, and I had leaf envy <laughs> Oh, I absolutely love this gold. I'm not sure if you can see it or not. I mean, it might be showing up even more so on camera than it really does or, or not as much. Sometimes it's a little bit hard to uh, hard to judge. Right, let's get lid some. So we've done that bit. I'm going to need that bit still. Um, so let's have a look at... Shall I round the edges or shall I have them straight so that would be um oh, oh, I did think I've got a bone for dries on the end of the table so that would be like so no I'm not going to round the corners because it looks like a book I really like that so I am going to position it more to this way because I'm going to have an eyelet there because it's going to uh, sew. No, it's not going to sew. It's going to tie uh, there. So I did start making this when I did a different envelope journal a few weeks ago. Um, and then I kind of forgot that that's what I was doing. And, uh, and I think I ended up sewing it sewing it in so I'm definitely doing jeans this time I'm gonna say I saw it when she did it and I thought oh try that because it looks so so pretty uh, tied tied at the side so that's gonna go there so I'm gonna get that stuck stuck down I did print on the back of these because when I printed the whole um, kits out I obviously didn't know you know what I was doing with them and originally I was going to make a journal um, with these but because I wanted to do so much woodlands and autumn um, I just feel like you know I need to come come to an end <laughs> and, and move on because um, there's some well I don't know where I'll be uh, with filming but um because I'm obviously filming in front um but I'm guessing by now I will be working on Tim Holtz and probably starting uh, some winter things off so that's the front that's lovely um what am I going to use for the back so we was either going to put the other owl on or we was going to put the mushroom on I really like that together yeah I'm gonna do that because this one to me is more color wise I think that goes better than that and that I mean that is its opposite isn't it 
or with that and that that's far too uh, orangey whereas that's got some oranges in it so that's made my mind up so i'll just ink around here and then i think that'll be about it for it for now um i might even just put this up as as, as one video and then come back um you know later today your day not my day um with with part two yeah i think i might do that it'll save me joining joining it up and then you can watch it at your at your leisure rather than it being a hour hour video i mean i personally like long videos and that's the main reason is because if I'm watching them and I'm crafting, I do like to comment on people's videos, um, even if it's just hello, um, you know, just to acknowledge that I've been there, I've seen it. Um, and I find when there's a load of shorter ones, um, I either have to just watch them on, you know, and then sit after and go back through them and comment um which is a bit well sometimes i then forget forget to do it um and it's like another another thing to do so yeah i do prefer watching a longer video because i can craft along while i'm watching it and then you know normally if it's like 40 minutes an hour i'm perhaps uh, you know stopping for a drink or what have you and I can do it uh, straight away because uh, I like to get them watched and then delete it off my watch list so I know so I know I've watched them and say so if I didn't put them on my watch now you know later um, I'd, I'd totally forget and many a time when I've not deleted them, I've started re-watching them and thought, I'm sure I've seen this before. Right, that's that. But I know, you know, there's only so many hour videos uh, you can watch in a day. I mean, I'm looking if I, you know, watch two. Um, in one one sitting so, right ink this up and glue it down and then that's that bit done okay so I've just glued that let's try and get it same-ish yeah that's lovely Yeah, super. So I'm going to sew around those or sew, sew all around um, the panels, even though you probably won't see that because it'll be covered up slightly. It is a bit wonky, but it's straight there. So, um, And then I'll sew around whatever's going inside. So like that. And then stick, stick those on. And then... Yeah, that's fine. And then, oh, no, that's going that way. Oh, it looks like I'm putting, oh yeah, I like that. So that has beers, beers inside. Like so, yeah, I like that I've got the green in both of them. So I'll be back later, get that done, and then we can get in, get into it. I um, need to find some zoom. I know that I've still got um, this beautiful sari, um, which will probably be enough to do to do both. Well, it will be enough to do both of them, which will be nice. Uh, get it used up. I've got it in green as well. Uh, I did use some in a um, botanical file folder that I did. Um, so yeah, probably use that. Those colours go lovely. 
um but i don't know what i'm going to sew it tie it in with because if i half this I might have enough to do both of the things now that there's got a, a join there so that's going to be a bit of a when i sew it in tie it in i'm just wondering how much you'd actually use because you'd go kind of like that so you'd want two of those which would be four yeah i won't have enough so maybe do that and then maybe string um here or just do one in it i mean which one does it oh yeah i think it goes with that one better and then do that one with string i think that's what what i'll do um because i don't think i've got I've got any other that would go and like i say it'd be nice to to get this beautiful uh sorry used up so i shall see you later on thanks for joining me Bye for now.